through my mind that he said, I'll pray for you, I'll intercede for you, but I gave you something to overcome. I gave you, I gave you something that you can lay hands on the sick and they'll recover. And, you know, I think the church is more or less forgotten it, I think. I don't know if they've forgotten it, but they just don't talk about it much anymore. And just for a few moments, I'm going to talk about what the Holy Spirit laid on my heart, and then I'm going to give you a testimony about it. Go to Acts chapter 1, verse 5. He said, For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days hence. Hallelujah. When, there, when they therefore were come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, Is it not for you to know the time or the season which the Father has put in his own power? But look at verse 8. But he said, There is one thing that I'm going to share with you. He told his disciples, and he's sharing with us tonight, this right here. This is what God has given us, but you shall receive power. Yes. 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 Now I want you to underline that you shall receive power. Mm -hmm. Now it's not just a, a, a human power. It's not a superman strength. It goes beyond that. This is a miracle working power that Jesus is talking about here. I'm talking about miracles are going to return back to the church. Hallelujah. Signs and wonders are coming into the church again. Yeah. We're going to start seeing things. Now when Sister Ann said what she said about her sign that she put up, and this man came and knelt. She said, I, and, and she said the same thing that I would have said, and anyone in this building would have said, I wonder if it was a sign or not that drew him. And I'm going to say something that might sound a little strange. It was both. Goosebumps. I'm going to tell you something tonight. It really wasn't the sign. It was the power that is in Sister Anne that lives in that house that the man recognized, that he sensed. It was that power that you shall receive. She wrote that note with power. She didn't just write it like we normally do. She wrote whatever she pinned on that. It was done by this power that Jesus told his disciples that he would give to each and every one of us. Every one of us tonight to have power in us. And he says it's going to come after the Holy Spirit has come to you. And you shall be witnesses. Now, a lot of people say right there with this power, we're going to go out, we're going to minister, we're going to preach, we're going to teach. That's really not what that witness right there really means. It really means here that it's not, it doesn't really say you're going to go get a lot of souls, but what it's saying here is we are going to give our life as a witness for him. We're going to give our life that Jesus Christ is alive and well. That's the witness he's talking about. If we don't have that witness about Jesus and what he did at the cross, the power that he wants to give us is no good. Come on. It wouldn't work in our life. We have to, we have to understand that he said, I want you to be witnesses unto me. Yes. Anne was a witness today to this man that came up to her house. He may not knew who lived there. He might, he might not have known what person was in that building. But the power of God in her drew that man to his knees. Amen. And I want the church to start realizing how much power and how much authority each and every one of us have. Today, Sister Sharon was doing her work and uh, she was thanking God for yesterday. I could hear her in there saying, Lord, thank you for the report that we got. Thank you for what happened last night, Monday night. Monday night I was sitting there on the couch and the phone rang. And it was my pastor. And he said him and Sister Joanne were resting. They were watching television or when Jimmy Swagger was on and he was singing Camel Train. <laughs> and he says that we will immediately jump to our feet to call you because this is the word of the Lord that came to us for you. And they used that power that Jesus is talking about here. And he picked that phone up. And I could sense that something was up. I could sense in my spirit that Pastor had a powerful word from the Holy Spirit for me. He said, I heard that song. And all of a sudden, he said, it was like someone audibly spoke into my spirit and said, call Pastor and tell him this for me. Now, that somebody has to be Jesus. Yes. 
It has to be Jesus saying, call him and encourage him with these words. And he said, here it is. I'm giving it to you. What you do with it, you're responsible now. It's out of my court. And he began to share with me. He said, you know what? He said, the Lord spoke to me about the camel train. And he said, call pastor and tell him that today, Monday, that his camel train has come in. And he says, so I'm telling you that. And I said, well, I'll receive it. Hallelujah. And I thank you for being obedient. He was, but I'm not done. He said, he kept dumping into my spirit about this camel train. And he said, tell pastor that not only has his camel train come in Monday, but Tuesday, Hallelujah. they will begin to unload the camel train. <laughs> the blessings will begin to unload on him. Hallelujah. And I received that, uh, Brother Colby. I received what Pastor told me. And all of a sudden, it hit me. The power that is in me to receive that and accept that. The power within me. I can have, I can receive what I desire to receive. I can use what God has given me because He has given me strength. He has given me power. Each and every one of us have it tonight. Yes. And I never thought about it much until Tuesday. When I woke up and, I, and, and things began to change Tuesday, phone calls began to come in. Things that I've been waiting on begin to come in. Little, little bitty things begin to come in and doors begin to open from that. And I realized, God, I have the power to open these things. I have the power in me through your Holy Spirit. Yes. And I begin to think about that power. What kind of power is it? It's the kind of power that Sister Ann says caused a man to come to his knees and look at that sign. We, we may never know what that man received exactly. from that. But I believe in my spirit, the Holy Spirit drew him to that sign. And I believe the Holy Spirit spoke to him without anybody being there. And I believe in my heart he gave his heart and life to God. Hallelujah. When power in us is moving and flowing. Something happens, church. Yes. Something happens. We have overlooked this for too many years. We have overlooked what God has invested into the church. Number one, he's invested his son. That's the greatest investment he's ever made. But number two, he's not only invested his son, but he's invested his power in us to lay hands on the sick and they'll recover. That's got to return back to the church. Yes. Yeah. 